Joe Biden's response to the tragic loss of 13 U.S. service members during the chaotic Afghanistan withdrawal has been met with skepticism and growing frustration. When I came to office as president, Afghanistan had replaced Vietnam as America's longest war. I was determined to end it, and I did. It was a hard decision, but the right decision. Four American presidents had faced that decision, but I was determined not to leave it to the fifth. It was a decision accompanied by tragedy. Thirteen brave Americans lost their lives, along with hundreds of Afghans in a suicide bomb. I think those lost lives, I think of them every day. The Afghanistan pullout has become a glaring symbol of what many perceive as failed leadership, marked by the avoidable deaths of American soldiers. Criticism has only intensified, with accusations that neither Biden nor Kamala Harris took the time to meet the grieving families or even publicly acknowledge the fallen by name. These actions, or lack thereof, have fueled a deeper sense that the administration has not fully owned up to its role in the disastrous withdrawal.